today's video is about the combination of your alcohol consumption and epilepsy. So what inspired me to create this video today was I've been seeing a lot of threads on Reddit of people describing them themselves getting drunk like like super drunk and talking about how their seizures have been getting worse I mean if you're gonna be drunk and have epilepsy your seizures are gonna be pretty bad <coughs> because alcohol is gonna lower your uh, seizure threshold and it's gonna it's gonna get horrible so before making this video I'm gonna be honest like this this topic has gotten me pretty like upset because our brains are they're injured like I'm gonna be honest our, our brains are injured and alcohol is a toxin so why do you want to put so much of this toxin inside of our injured brains just to make it worse you know like is that third fourth fifth drink really worth that seizure like is it is it really worth that i don't i don't know if it is <sighs> so Like before I made this video, it was gonna be like super like emotionally like driven, but I'm I'm gonna be neutral, chill, and we are gonna learn about alcohol and epilepsy together. So I'm gonna pull up my laptop and I'm gonna read the alcohol some of like the alcohol facts on the Epilepsy Foundation uh, website and we are going to learn together <laughs> and what's ironic is i just like what yesterday i found my my t-shirt my alaskan brewing company t-shirt so <clears throat> all right alcohol content highlights so in small amounts alcohol does not cause seizures seizures a drink or two now and then does not increase seizure activity so in my experience i like to drink wine but i'll have like maybe like a tiny glass maybe a couple sips every like three months this is like really rare for me to drink so i don't drink because i understand the the risks that alcohol has on epilepsy so the risks are much higher than the rewards and I would not like to see these at all. Do, do, do. And I'm gonna scroll down. So this one, I was reading this before this, the video and it was actually pretty scary. So let me read this. So binge drinking and alcohol withdrawal can lead to status epileptis, a life-threatening and potentially, potentially fatal problem. So I'm gonna go into status epileptis so I can explain to you what it is. <laughs> so status epileptis. Status epileptis is when a seizure lasts longer than five minutes or when seizures occur close together and the person doesn't recover between seizures. There are different types of status epileptis, convulsive and non-convulsive. Convulsive status epileptis re requires emergency treatment by trained medical personnel in a hospital setting. It can be life-threatening. <sighs> so that's kind of scary when a seizure lasts longer than five minutes. So that's, when I ha in my experience, when I have a seizure, I my I don't breathe so I don't breathe for like a good 20 seconds so say if I'm seizing 
and I'm not breathing for five minutes, that's uh, five minutes that your brain doesn't have oxygen. And I don't remember what I was. Okay, so I'm not a doctor, and I don't want to say any like stupid, stupid facts. I'm gonna have to look this up and put it in the description. But I I recall reading somewhere that if your brain doesn't have oxygen between like four or five minutes then you're basically brain dead and you go into a coma. So let's see, seizure, med seizure medicines can lower your tolerance for alcohol. So the immediate effects of alcohol consumption are greater. In other words, people get drunk faster. Rapid intoxication is a big problem because many of the side effects of these medicines are similar to the acute effects of alcohol itself. <laughs> if you are sensitive to alcohol or seizure medicines, you may find the combination even worse. Damn. So, this uh, headline says, How should I manage alcohol? if I have seizures or epilepsy. So avoid binge drinking. So whenever I read the threads and the the poster says I gotten drunk. Like drunk like to the point where you're like uh or if you like black out that freaks me out because that's basically like kinda like binge drinking or you're you've had more more drinks than you're supposed to if you have epilepsy because like I said your brain is injured like your, your brain is injured man stop putting these toxins in your brain stay hydrated drink water you don't need that <clears throat> avoid binge drinking Binge drinking is drinking too much at once or over long periods of time. Uh, don't abuse alcohol. If you have a problem with it, get help. Alcohol withdrawal, alcohol withdrawal seizures may be different than epilepsy seizures or make epilepsy worse. Okay, so if you're allowed to drink, use moderation. Only a few drinks and drink slowly. So if you're going to drink, drink, and then have like a sip of water, drink, and then have a sip of water, just drink slowly so it can just chill out and you don't get drunk, you don't trigger anything, you still have a good time, you can taste it, everything's going to be fine. I'm not here to tell you about this status epileptus to freak you out I'm just trying to teach you about alcohol and epilepsy because there are dangers to this there are risks we have epilepsy we have to adapt <laughs> let's see many people with epilepsy are at a high risk of seizures after drinking three or more ap uh, alcohol alcoholic beverages. <laughs> so three or more, and you're at a higher risk of having a seizure. <sighs> so I don't know why, but I keep on picturing like someone at a restaurant ordering three or more uh, drinks, and then you just seize in front of all these people. I don't, I don't know why like at a party but seriously it is not worth it it is not worth drinking three or more to get drunk no but that that is just my opinion I'm only here to share information I'm only here to teach 
I'm going to put this this link in the description below so you can read more. Let's see what else I can read for you. Do, 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 do. Research indicates that adults with epilepsy may have one or two alcoholic drinks a day without worsening their seizures or causing changes in the blood levels of their seizure medications. Hmm. Wow. So technically, you can be an alcoholic as long as you only have one or two drinks a day and it's not going to change. <laughs> it's not going to change the blood levels in your seizure medications. So that's research indicates that. But talk to your doctor and healthcare team about alcohol seizures and safety. Moderate to healthy alcohol use is never recommended for people with epilepsy. So just chillax with the alcohol. If the ta if you enjoy like beer tasting, wine tasting, taste it, drink water, but just do it in moderation, please. Please. I am going to read status epileptus one more time so it can be ingrained in your head because I read that and I was like pardon my French holy shit that can really happen to you status epilep oh status epilepticus okay status epilepticus is when a seizure lasts longer than five minutes or when seizures occur close together and the person doesn't recover between seizures so basic so you're seizing for five minutes or longer. You're blacked out for five minutes or longer and you're not recovering between the seizures. So that just blows my mind. And there's a video right here of status epilepticus. Oh, what is that? Wow. Okay. So, that was my video. Thank you for watching, and thank you for learning with me about alcohol and epilepsy. I hope I taught you much about this. This was a, a topic that I've actually been wanting to talk about since I started this channel, because I know because I've seen like a lot of questions about alcohol and epilepsy and I'm actually really glad that I taught you guys. Sweet. So I will see you soon.